My name is Bob Quick. I'm the President and CEO of Commerce Lexington, and I'm glad to be your uh, Master of Ceremony here this morning. First of all, I'd like to welcome all of you for coming out today. A great fall day here in the Commonwealth. I hope everyone's batteries are charged. <laughs> We're energized and ready to go. So thank you for joining us. It's a big day here in the bluegrass and we're glad that all of you could join us. And quite frankly, this is probably one of the best who's who audiences we've had for an announcement in quite some time. So I want to thank all the Commerce Lexington board members and investors. I see some bluegrass angels out there in our audience, Lexington Federal County government leaders and university officials. So thank you all for joining us. The mayor often talks about uh, crowding the winter circle. Nathan, Today, we're going to crowd you up here at the Winter Circle. It's not an end, it's a celebration of a new beginning, so we're looking forward to doing that. And the three leaders that we have speaking today are three of the Commonwealth's top leaders. So to kick us off, I would like to turn it over to our top economic development leader here in the Commonwealth, the Honorable Steve Bashir, who's going to make the official announcement. Governor. exciting day for Central Kentucky and for the entire Commonwealth because today we announce the arrival of a company whose $5.3 million investment will further Kentucky's economy and carry strong ramifications for the energy security of this entire nation. Gnomes Technologies, they plan to create up to 162 new jobs here in Lexington. That, my friends, is great news anytime we can announce it. 162 jobs. They will be opening, they will be opening a state-of-the-art research, manufacturing, and product development facility for military, cell phone, and electric vehicle lithium-ion batteries. From the economic development standpoint alone, these are obviously impressive numbers. These new jobs in particular are a welcome development for our families in these uncertain economic times. But just as exciting is how Gnomes Technologies will solidify Kentucky's emerging role in the development of next generation batteries here at the Kentucky Argonne Battery Manufacturing Research and Development Center. Gnomes Technologies was founded in 2010. It's a young company, and when you hear from its CEO, it's a young CEO. <laughs> but this is an exciting time to have a young company like this to join us here in Kentucky because they have developed a battery that is based on lithium sulfur chemistry. The company's vision is to commercialize a lithium sulfur battery technology, battery technology that will revolutionize vehicle markets, including everything from spacecraft to electric automobiles. The company believes its new batteries can deliver enough energy at a cost that will be low enough to greatly accelerate mass commercialization of electric vehicles. I want to congratulate Nathan Ball CEO of Gnomes and welcome him to this remarkable facility because Gnomes represents precisely the kind of company that I envisioned when I worked to establish the Kentucky Argonne Center here in the Commonwealth. I wanted to address growing concerns about energy sources and to make Kentucky the epicenter for the advanced automobile manufacturing of the future. It was just over a year ago that we all gathered and cut the ribbon on the center, which, as we all know, is a partnership between the Commonwealth of Kentucky, the University of Kentucky, the University of Louisville, and Argonne National Laboratory, which is a world leader in basic battery research and in scores of other research fields. Already during the past year, Joint research projects have been developed with several major automotive manufacturers, including Ford, Hitachi, and Toyota. 
I know that Executive Director Tony Hancock and his team continue to recruit more tenants and more partners. So folks, there's some revolutionary work going on right here. I'm also proud that the state was able to provide an additional boost toward helping gnomes locate here in Kentucky and in Lexington with some of our performance-based incentives offered through the Kentucky Business Investment Program. You know, since we overhauled those investment programs in 2009, we've used them to partner on over 580 projects representing over $6.8 billion in investments. And as companies like Gnomes Technologies follow through on their plans, they stand to create over 46,000 new jobs for Kentuckians. I should note also that Gnomes was a recipient of a Small Business Innovation Research Matching Grant from the Commonwealth of Kentucky and is a participant in the Bluegrass Business Development Partnerships Rent Subsidy Program. We're thrilled to welcome the company here to Lexington, and I know that a whole lot of people are looking forward to its growth and success. And Nathan, if you would come up for just a minute. I've got a small token of appreciation on behalf of the Commonwealth. We make a brown liquid here in Kentucky. <laughs> that Good, good. And it's known around the world as Kentucky bourbon. And while this is not big enough for a bottle of bourbon, it is big enough for a julep cup to drink that bourbon out of. Thank you very Thank much. You. I would now like to introduce Mr. Nathan Ball, co-founder and CEO of Noam's Technologies. Nathan has a fascinating professional history. He's worked in Beijing, China. He got his engineering degree in Saudi Arabia at King Abdullah's University of Science and Technology. And he comes to Lexington today from Cornell University and Ithaca, New York. We're certainly glad to have Nathan and all the folks from Noam's that are here with us today. Nathan Ball. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Governor. Uh, friends, colleagues, and fellow Kentuckians, a lot of work has been put into relocating this company from Ithaca, New York, to Lexington. Um, my wife and I just bought a house in town last month, yeah, and it's yeah, a sign yeah. of commitment when the CEO buys a house in town. Right? Buying a house is a lot of work. Uh, after weighing all the possible options, north, east, south, and west of town, and even in Georgetown, uh, how many bedrooms and bathrooms, how good are the schools, is there a park nearby, and all of those other things you need to know or think you need to know when you're buying a house before negotiating and countering and inspecting and financing and finally closing. Um, those of you who have ever been through the process know that it takes a long time and can be just a little bit stressful, right? <laughs> So take, take all of that work that goes into buying, in, buying a house and multiply that by at least 10. And that's how much, that probably isn't even enough to account for the diligence and the heavy lifting that my team did, that Commerce Lexington did, that the Cabinet for Economic Development did, and the UK staff at the Center for Applied Energy Research are still doing to get us here and help us make the transition as smooth as possible. It isn't easy to move a company, and I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone involved at the city, state, university level. Uh, and there are probably some I haven't thanked today that have put a lot of work and effort into this as well, but thank you very much, especially to uh, my, co my, my colleagues, our employees that are in amongst, standing in amongst the audience with you. Um, uh, we've retained 100% of our employees through the relocation, and that really speaks volumes to the commitment and to the personal investment of this team. So thank you. And now that I've made it halfway through my speech without talking about what it is that our company actually does, I'll, uh, I'll get back to what we do. Just real brief, Gnomes Technologies was founded three years ago in a little town called Ithaca, New York, to develop an idea that originated at Cornell, in a Cornell University lab. Uh, three years later, we brought in millions of dollars in uh, income and support uh, and are growing more quickly than ever before. Gnomes Technologies is developing materials as was said earlier, for military products, mobile phones, and electric vehicles that have the potential to double the runtime and reduce the cost of current technology. Batteries are important because they power everything 
from our mobile phones to hearing aids, golf carts, and airplanes. And if we can simultaneously double the energy and reduce the cost, then we can power our next genera the next generation of military products and cell phones and enable a company like Toyota to make electric cars that are more cost-effective to buy and to drive than gasoline cars. <coughs> that would shift the energy economics away from oil extracting companies like Iraq and, or countries like Iraq and Libya and toward high-tech manufacturing in countries like the USA. And I think that that's part of your governor's vision, our governor's vision, to make Kentucky ultra-competitive in high-tech manufacturing by attracting companies like Toyota, Hitachi, and Gnomes Technologies to the region who can all work together right here in Kentucky. Uh, we are thrilled now to be a part of the uh, bus Kentucky business community. This will enable, this move and the facilities here will enable all, our, our company to move a lot faster, to take the next step to fully develop and commercialize our products. We chose Kentucky because of the state's reputation for advanced manufacturing, a talented workforce, and very strong support from the state level for the battery and automotive industry. The facilities at Kentucky are, and the facilities at Kentucky Argonne, which are unparalleled here in this country outside of a university, outside of a national lab or a big company, uh, right here at UK. The capabilities that exist here and are being installed in, as the center con continues to grow will help us tremendously as we continue to grow right here in Lexington. We also benefit from a close relationship with the University of Kentucky Center for Applied Energy Materials, which has a long history in developing energy materials technology. Thank you, Governor Bashir, Dr. Capilouto, Mr. Quick, and Mr. Gray, and everyone else who has made our expansion and the world-class Kentucky Argonne facility at UK Center for Applied Energy Research possible. Thank you. Gift. It's not bourbon either. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some t-shirts commemorating the event today. All right. I'll take I'd love to share with you. I knew we had him when he mentioned he bought a house. Yeah. And you had all those points. I'm sitting there going, yep, check, 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 because I know we have all those things in abundance. But I really knew we had him when he said your governor's vision. Then he said our governor's vision. So <laughs> thank you very much. So Nathan, you're here at a phenomenal time in our history. And I'd like to have uh, our next leader come up, the mayor of Lexington, who is his fingerprints all over that uh, architectural plan and the implementation that's made us a great city. So with that, I'd like to invite Jim Gray, Mayor of Lexington, to the platform. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. <clears throat> wow, uh, this, this, Dr. Capolito, Eli was just saying, this is a great day, it's a great event. And it's so inspiring, uh, Governor, you know, this really does demonstrate when you decide to swing for the fences and actually hit it. You know, when, when we were, as Nathan was speaking, I'm, I'm fully going off script, y'all, forgive me. <laughs> because when the governor was speaking and when Nathan was speaking, I was thinking, you know, and Ed Lane, we're in council member Ed Lane's district right here. I was thinking that when something like Kentucky Argonne is actually inspired, engaged, created, and then you see this really the first, essentially the first spinoff. And then, because I know this guy, the governor, was, was right there almost 30 years ago when an event called Toyota landed here. He was then lieutenant governor. And he looks back today and sees more than 160 manufacturing plants that were created in this state in the 
following 30 years and what that has meant to creating jobs and opportunity and purpose in people's lives. And when he saw this, the opportunity for Kentucky Argonne, and when he pushed and traveled to win it, and now today seeing Nathan, young man with a brilliant idea, intellect, and energy, and charisma, and his people, all of whom, that company, all of your employees who have followed that leadership to be here and to move to Lexington because of that original concept and idea and the commitment and passion to actually do it. So for swing, I'd just like everybody to a little applause for all the swinging for the fences that has been done here. And that swinging for the fences and, you know, at the centerpiece of that, of course, includes the leadership that Eli Capilouto is providing at the university in so many dimensions, often running against the grain to stretch and to push and to encourage this level. In fact, he said to me, when we made an announcement, it was about a year ago, and we were making an announcement of about 300 jobs, and he said, now, Jim, there's got to be a lot more than 300. <laughs> and he was right because of, you know, because of the investment. As I look across this room, though, I, and, I, and I listened to Nathan's comments just a minute ago. It was sort of inspiring for me. I remember moving myself to Lexington and opening up for our family business almost 30 years ago. What amounted to a two-person shop. And I remember moving here because I'd had a short stint at the University of Kentucky Law School, and I just thought Lexington was just the place to be. And so much of it had to do with the university, with the content, the intellect deposited right there at this university. And the way that that influences all of us, it's something that Senator Stein says routinely a university city, and how that in many respects today, we're just beginning to take the fullest, perhaps, advantage of that. And why is that? In cities across America and the world, productivity is being measured at its highest level in cities, and especially in university cities. So for the inspiration that the governor provided including those KBIR incentives. Because when I first met with Nathan, Governor, that's exactly what he said. He said, that's what got our attention. Just like Eric Ostertag at Transposition said. So these little seeds, Nathan said, when you announced 162 jobs, that's his business plan. And I can tell you that when, from my own experience, when there's that kind of commitment, when there's a passion, there's a community behind it, Today, our little company that moved from Glasgow, more than 300 jobs in this city today. And it happened one step at a time, one day at a time, with the kind of energy and commitment and passion that you bring to it. So I've gone completely off script. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. This is a big day for Lexington. It's a big deal to celebrate this entrepreneurial inspiration. So thank you all so much for being here today. We got the entire leadership here for you, Nathan, and for your business. One of our nation's top uh, university presidents and a tremendous um, economic development generator is the University of Kentucky. I'd like to have uh, come forward Dr. Eli Capilouto, the president of the University of Kentucky, to make a few comments. Bob, thank you. You knew. Uh, we had Nathan when he bought a home and someone observed that we had him when he said, our governor. Uh, I knew we had him when he bought that blue tie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I'll have to tell you, the, the mayor and I have a sort of running 
joke, and, and that is I've started buying him ties <laughs> because his ties don't reflect enough blue. So, uh, Nathan, thank you for wearing that tie. Thank you for being here and generating the energy, excitement, enthusiasm expressed by the governor and the mayor. And I'm here to represent an incredible team at the University of Kentucky, those who came before me and those who are here now, who have made days like today possible. Our Vice President for Research, Deans of our colleges, Director of our Center for Applied Energy Research. It takes a team at the University of Kentucky uh, to make something like this happen. I have the honor of representing all of them today. In fact, we just came from uh, Coldstream, where with the governor and mayor and others, we cut the ribbon to open our uh, Eastern State Hospital, another high-tech, high-touch, high-quality facility to meet the needs of our fellow Kentuckians. We're welcoming a new partner, a youthful one, creating jobs, innovation, a contributor to our regional, national, and global economy, answering the questions of our day. So I'm proud to welcome Nathan and Gnomes Technology, and I think, again, he deserves a round of applause, and we want to give you that warm University of Kentucky welcome. We're celebrating everything today because of these partnerships. And this illustrates the incredible possibilities unleashed when human capital, modern space, and expertise combine with state and local entities to bring a new company with new technologies and high wage jobs to Central Kentucky. It's really simple. Talent, facilities, and the glue that puts them all together. That's what's represented in the people in this room. So on behalf of the university, I want to add my thanks to many individuals and organizations that made today possible. First, starting with Governor Bashir and his state policymakers, his economic development talent uh, cabinet uh, that he leads so ably. Mayor Jim Gray. You know, Jim has finally come out of his shell. <laughs> Does he have enthusiasm for this city? He believes in its future. He believes in our university and we welcome it. And also Bob Quick and his team at Commerce Lexington. The partners from UK and Lexington involved with the Bluegrass Business Development Partnership. And finally, Nathan and his incredible team from Gnomes Technology. This underscores two important points that we cannot lose sight of in this country. First, the positive impact of federal and state support for research and development. These are the investments you make that start unleashing from the pipeline you know, into our economy the things that we recognize today. The majority of our growth since World War II was the result of technological advancement. A great deal stems from federally funded research. This impact surrounds us everywhere. Everywhere, Google, GPS, life-saving vaccines, the creation of the MRI, just to name a few. And Gnome's technology is going to follow in the footsteps of those companies and those discoveries. They, too, receive funding from the Department of Energy and NSF, the National Science Foundation. Folks, my friends here, that funding is in jeopardy in this country as we are locked in, in uh, sequestration battles in Washington, D.C., NIH, and I think you could say the same for NSF, is at its lowest inflation-adjusted funding in over a decade. Over a decade. We will not be celebrating days like today in the future if we don't get back on track. These modern facilities where research and discovery are conducted, space where synergies between experts and entrepreneurs can flourish. That is going to guide our future. The Kentucky Argonne National Battery Laboratory, you heard from Nathan. Without that, he's not here. His company's not here. Our UK Center for Applied Energy Research, another important partner in this 
dynamic enterprise. So we're excited that you selected Lexington. My job came with a house, but I would have bought one too. <laughs> this is a great place to, to flourish. And it's a great day to celebrate this partnership and to acknowledge the impact of state and federal government agencies, universities and innovators coming together to pioneer products, create jobs, solve a problem, and build a bright future for Kentucky. Thank all of you in this room for making this possible. Thank you, Dr. Capolito. And I would like to thank all of you for coming out for this very exciting announcement. It does take a strong team. And uh, I think we take for granted these days just how important that team is. Uh, you mentioned the Bluegrass Business Development Partnership, the BBDP. Um, it's people who work tirelessly, they work collectively, and they put their egos aside to make things happen. As I talk to my colleagues across the country, ladies and gentlemen, it just doesn't happen that way. And I also, Dr. Capilouto, many universities and their communities don't plug in the way that you do and the way we do with you. So it's very important that we always remember what makes Kentucky great, and it's our people first. And we've always got to work together and never take that for granted. Uh, further, I would say that it's incentives that we are able to match, like the SBIR, that makes that differentiates Kentucky from our, uh, our strongest competitors. And local rent subsidy. Don't ever take for granted those local incentives. They're huge, and they make a significant difference. Um, the mayor also wanted me to comment. Uh, uh, Ruth Ann Plumbo, state representative, Senator Kathy Stein are here. Uh, also, we have a couple council members, Ed Lane, I know was mentioned, but Harry Clark, and I hope I didn't pass over anyone. But uh, also, there's a number of state leaders that are here. Thank you all for being part of our team and for being here to make all this happen. Nathan, we're very ha happy to have you in the Commonwealth, and especially here in Lexington. We think you're going to be happy here. We think you're going to thrive here. Um, this is not an endpoint. And the promise I always make is that the attention you've received to this point, it doesn't go away, it gets more intense. Mm -hmm. And you've witnessed that by the leaders here and how they've uh, explained to you this is a long-term engagement and uh, affair with you here and your families, your workers. And uh, also we've had many recent uh, accolades and a new one that the mayor talked about that Google split on us with eCity because of our on online presence of businesses that have located here. We have a lot going on. But guess what? There's more to come. And we want you to be part of that story. There will be tours. Uh, we want you to kind of congregate over in this area here by the front doors. We hope that you will take a tour. Um, and um, also now we're going to open up for any questions that the media may have. Questions? I know our leaders will be here afterwards. So uh, with that, again, I want to thank you. This is a big day. Uh, but we have many more big days coming, too, because we're going to build on Nathan and his group and uh, what all of you in this room have done. Thank you very much.